Welcome to the February edition of Cornerstone Connect. We have a very special program planned just for you. Katie Farrell of Dashing Dish zooms in to tell us all of the brand new season coming to us this month. Anna Fry chats with Pastor Gary about how we are called to love God and love people. And Origins producer Paul Bixler stops by to tell us of a new special titled Fearfully and Wonderfully Made. All that and more coming up next. Welcome, we're so glad you've tuned in. I'm your host, Amanda Brocker, and I just have one question for you. Do you have your Hope Today newsletter today? If you have not received it, please give us a call at 888-665-4483 or go to ctvn.org and sign up. We love to keep connected with you. And I just have to reflect on a piece of mail that came. It's a piece that's some what special to all of us here. It's from Lucy and Tom McGuff, and they just stated that they are very grateful for the integrity of Cornerstone's ministry with this being the month of love. This is a couple that we here at Cornerstone Television absolutely love, and we are expecting God's best for Tom and Lucy as they're now uh, located in Arizona, but the love of God has no distance. And now we're gonna have a time, a special time, Time with Katie Farrell. She's coming up next and she's cooking up a brand new dashing dish show just for you. Are you facing a detour? Are things not as expected? Discouragement, frustration, anxiousness, sickness? God loves you more than you can ever know. Romans 8:39 assures nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God. Call our prayer line or connect with us online. I'm so excited to talk with Katie Farrell of Dashing Dish. It is no secret we love her recipes in my house and we are looking forward to brand new shows coming up all this month. Katie, welcome to Cornerstone Connect. Thank you so much for having me. Absolutely. Well, we don't just have new shows, but a new location as well. Tell us about the move. Yeah, so we moved to Tennessee right outside of Nashville, and we absolutely love it here. Um, we actually, it was kind of a surprise to us too uh, that God was calling us to Tennessee. It was kind of many years in the making that Sean had a desire to move here. But I never actually thought we would leave Michigan. Um, but lo and behold, here we are <laughs> following God's plan. And so it's always the best to be in God's plan. So far, we absolutely love it here. That's awesome. Well, and I hear we also get to meet or you're going to introduce your new addition to the family, Ollie. That's right. I can't believe he's coming up on 18 months old. It seems like he was just born. Um, but the last season, I was pregnant with Ollie. And so it's really neat to be able to share with our audience, Oliver actually here. <laughs> and he's just so sweet. He's such a good boy. Uh, he literally is a boy. I mean, he loves balls and trucks and all the things. So this is all very new to me, of course, with a little girl, Maddie. Um, and it's so fun to be able to watch them form a bond and have one of each. It's been a really neat experience, but I'm so excited to share Oliver with all of you guys. That's awesome. I love that you bring the family into Dashing Dish. It's not this solo program you're doing yourself. We get to see your husband, your children, your extended family. So you're doing a great job. But what are some of the themes of the shows that are coming up? Well, we have, of course, some holiday theme shows. And that's always my personal favorite because I love holidays and celebrating. Um, but we always have very practical themes. Like um, we try and think of 
everybody that's at home cooking, like what would you want to learn how to make in a healthier way? So we're always doing quick and easy dinners and, you know, really specific type of shows where we can get people in the kitchen and not only enjoy cooking, but make it really simple. Um, I'm somebody who I don't like to make a lot of dishes, nor do I like to use a million ingredients. And so I'm always thinking, what would other people like if they were just like me? And here I cook for a living. So I know that people really don't want something that's long and laborious, especially when you're cooking for a family. And so that's what we always keep in mind with all of our themes of our shows. And then, of course, like you said, we try and bring in my family and friends and different people to kind of just show the full family element because that is real life. Um, and sometimes it's really funny because not everybody loves to cook that's cooking with me. <laughs> so it really does make it very practical in real life for everybody, no matter what stage of cooking you're in or what stage of life you're in. Amen. Well, give us just a little bit. I know you've told us before, but remind us, you know, of what your heart and why this platform that God has blessed you to stand upon? Yeah, well, with Dashing Dish, it really came from a place of really, I always say, beauty for matches. Uh, when I was a teenager, I had eating disorders, and I went through years and years of battling different disordered eating. And it was from that that God birthed Dashing Dish in my heart. And it really came from a place of healing as God walked me through my own inner healing, I started to learn how to cook. And I always say it was the Holy Spirit that came alongside me and taught me how to cook because no physical person taught me. I just started to learn just by walking it out with God. And, and through that process, so many women have also found their own inner healing just by um, learning how to eat healthy and nourish their body God's way. So that really is my heart behind Dashing Dish is to teach others what God has taught me to help other people live free and whole and healthy. That is beautifully said, Katie, and you're doing an excellent job. We love just watching your family grow. We have just like one minute left. I was just thinking about you know, any inspiration. Our viewers were a donor supported network and I give you this minute to just say thanks to all those who have supported us. Well, I have to say thank you to all of you guys who watch the Dashing Dish Cooking Show. This is why we do what we do, is for you guys. And so thank you so much for supporting Cornerstone Network. I can say I've been with them for, gosh, what feels like almost 10, maybe 10 years now, just about. And they are truly the real deal when it comes to the, the ministry, the heart behind everything they do. It is so incredible and it's all for God's glory. So that is really the heart behind Dashing Dish and everything on Cornerstone is really just for the glory of God and to draw people to his light and his goodness. And so thank you for everybody who supports Cornerstone and watches Dashing Dish. And we continue, hope that you continue to be blessed by it. Amen. Well, thank you so much for stopping by, Katie. Thank you for having me. Awesome. Well, you can watch the all new Dashing Dish shows every Tuesday beginning February 6th at 2 p.m. and 9 p.m. Stay tuned. Listen, we were all sinners and we were all, while we were in sin, Christ died for us. I know that when I pray that God and I have a special relationship. And I think that it's gonna be the same way when we get to heaven. We live in a society and a culture that cannot handle disagreement. We know what the Bible says is true and the proof really is all around you. Well, these look really good and we're going to roast them at 400 degrees for 12 to 15 minutes. You want me to do this gospel album, I want to do it. Let's make it happen. And by gosh, he did. Lord, give me a revelation of my heavenly Father's love. But just know every morning when you rise, God's mercies are new. And life by your death, you 
give me strength in my times of distress. What's amazing, he wants you to know what's on his mind and on his heart for this day and for this hour. Now, some people say to use a whole bottle. I think that's too much. So I usually do about half a bottle. You give your all and your life to Jesus and yield it all to him, your life will never be the same. Today we welcome Origins producer and CTVN board member Paul Bixler. We're so glad to have you and talk to us about this latest project you've been working on. Yes. Um, years ago we taped a segment with one of our favorite guests that's been on Origins years ago with, with uh, Dr. Don Chapman when he was the host, uh, David Menton. And he did, did a series on... Um, called Fearfully and Wonderfully Made. Mm -hmm. And what that is is about how a woman gets pregnant, carries the baby to term, and delivers the baby. It's just a bunch of miracles along the way. And he basically goes into all the details of that. And so I had tried to get him back to Pittsburgh to do the shows here in our studio, but his health just didn't allow it to happen. So years ago, we, we were at the uh, Creation Museum and the Ark when we did a special on the Ark and the Creation Museum. I'm sure the folks probably have seen that if they've watched Origins. And, and, and I asked Dr. Don Chapman, I said, how about, you, you know, the last things that you, one of the last things you do here is this series Fearfully and Wonderfully Made with Dr. Don, I mean, with uh, Dr. Menton. Yeah. And, and so we did. And um, I knew it was something special, but we had a new host, you know, uh, and, and we focused on a lot of those new shows and we did the Miracle of Creation and we did the Creation Museum specials. And, but I felt like we really needed to do something special with Fearfully and Wonderfully Made. I just didn't know how I was gonna make it happen. But because the, the, um, our partners are, uh, can actually donate to Cornerstone Television and designate it for Origins, I'm able to purchase um, a lot of video, um, like diagrams and different things about um, animations and things like that, they cost thousands of dollars. And so we were able to do that and I was able to bring in some, um, another producer that I went to, actually went to college with and she helped me with it. And one of the things she said, well, wait a minute, you got, this is a, this is a, all about a woman and you got two guys talking about this, you know. <laughs> So uh, I said, you're right, we, we need to bring some women in. So she found a midwife in Colorado and we interviewed her and you graciously agreed to be a part of the host of the program. So really for the last three or four months, we've been working on this project and we're, it's gonna premiere this month. So I'm, I'm actually excited. I feel like I'm, I'm having a baby, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and it's actually gonna air, you know? That's right. Um, it's something that we really uh, put a lot into. And you know, because we came back to you several times to do the segments over again. We reworked some things. And, uh, but I think, it's, I think it's a really important subject. Yes. And we have this DVD that we, this is not the actual version, but it's an actual DVD that we'll, we're going to make available to the partners and uh, people that support Origins. And, um, that sort of thing, and there'll be a commercial for that, and uh, that'll run along the way. But I'm just so excited that you you were a part of this, and you were able to. You're a mother of four, and you were able to share a story about your children, and um, some photographs. So I, I think it's going to be a good good uh, production. I it think it sure is, Paul. You and know. you know, there is, I believe. It's not by chance. I really believe you're on a divine assignment by God. Your dad was as he launched Origins and this, um, you know, it's hard for a lot of us to understand the science behind everything, but what your scientists do is they bring it to life. But what does this project mean to you? 
Well, it, like, like I said, origins, I, I didn't even realize how important it was till after my dad died, mm -hmm. that how important creation is to talk about creation. Right. I mean, when God was talking to Job, what did he talk about? He talked about, have you considered my creation? You know, and, and we find that there's so much information out there that people just don't realize about our, gen, you know, from genetics, astronomy, geology, all these different different areas, and, and that's what we do with the program. Mm -hmm. And this program is just another, it's just a detailed look at all the wonderful miracles that have to have to unfold constantly. And Dr. Menton goes through it with a sense of humor, you know, and, and, he, and he said, wow, boy, it just, it's just lucky that this, happened. it's just, Don Chapman was just utterly amazed, you know, mm -hmm. how can we say that this actually, you know, is luck. Was, is luck, you know, yeah. it was just b happened by chance, you know, it's just we have a unfolding miracles. Designer. You know? That's right. And origins proves that every scientist you have, like you leave that program knowing there was a divine designer in charge. And, and you know, the thing that we, we don't try to beat people over the head, we, we just want to try to give them critical thinking. Right. You know, they were so, people were so indoctrinated into evolution. Mm -hmm. and, and if you just step back and just consider what some of the things that we, you know, we're not 100% perfect. We don't make everything just right, but we're trying to get, get the information out there That's for right. people to realize that Amen. this is all out there. It's very important, Paul. Yeah. And I know for all of our viewing audience, we just want to say a great big thank you to you because if it wasn't for your love and support, right. you know, this voice of truth wouldn't be able to happen. So thank you. And right. this special premieres on February 17th That's at 8 p.m. Saturday, yeah. And it re-airs again February 25th at 1 p.m. So don't forget to tune in to Origins every Monday evening at 9 p.m. as well. You're sure to be enlightened. Well, Paul, thank you so yeah. much for being with Good us to be today. Here. Hi, I'm Ray Heifel, host of Origins. We're here in the Grand Canyon thanks to you. Your prayers, your financial support, we're able to come and make these kinds of programs that help people trust their Bibles. One of the things that we do on the show is show how real science, objective science, looking at the, at the facts as they are, like all of these different layers that were laid down not over millions of years, but rapidly by a flood, a global flood, because there are 200 canyons like this all over the world. And it's proof, it's evidence that the Bible's true, that Noah's flood happened. And so we're able to do this because of your prayers and financial support. So I would ask you, consider giving to Cornerstone Television so that we can keep origins on the air, so that we can keep showing that the Bible is true and the proof is all around you. Well, we're so glad that you're with us on Cornerstone Connect. I'm Anna Fry, one of the hosts on Hope Today. And I have the great privilege of being here with Pastor Gary, who is the chairman of the board and just such a faithful leader here at CTVN. Pastor Gary, I love sitting with you on this couch for these <laughs> Cornerstone Connect interviews. You. And you. you have the cover article this month and it is all about love God, love people. And I, we start off by saying like, God, it's easy for God to love us. Why is that when we're su such a mess? <laughs> <laughs> because the Bible says God is love. You know, he just doesn't love. That's who he is. I always say, if you cut God open, love would just gush out because that's who he is. But the challenge is of course, for us to love the Lord. The Bible says the greatest commandment Love the Lord with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, all your strength. And then to love others, to love people, even the unlovable, the unsaved. God loved us when we weren't saved. Yeah. He didn't start loving you and I when we came to Christ. He loved us when we were still out there in the world. Right. But that same love is abiding in you and me, Anna, and that's the wonderful thing. It's not, I have to love people in my own self. The Bible says in Romans 5, 5, the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. And so it's important that we understand God's love, that we experience His love first, 
and love him and that enables us to love others. Can you talk a little bit about, you know, somebody that's out there watching and, and they want to have that relationship with God, but how do they have that close intimate where they're experiencing his love? Well, I think first of all, you ask him for it. Lord, that's my desire. I want to know you more. I want to know Christ. That's what Paul said in, in Philippians. And then the Bible says in James, when you draw near to God, he will draw near to you. So I think you got to just take steps to just say, Lord, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some things. I'm going to spend time in your word. I'm going to have that quiet time, that time in your presence. And then that's probably one of the most the greatest keys to intimacy with God is that, is that Psalm 91, just getting in the secret place yeah. of the Most High, under the shadow of the Almighty. You know, if you're in somebody's shadow, that means you're pretty close to them. Right. You're, not, you're not far away. So if you and I will spend time in God's presence, I get up every morning, 2 o'clock every morning, and I just spent hours and hours in God's presence. Mm -hmm. And I'll tell you what, it's literally, it's changed my life more than anything else I've ever done. I bet. And you talk about how God woos us, how he delights in us, how he sings over us. Yes. Can you unpack that a little bit for somebody <laughs> who just hasn't experienced that? Well, you know what I tell people all the time in my church? God's not mad at you. He's mad about you. The Bible says in Jeremiah, he has a plan for your life that's good to give you a future full of hope. I think a lot of people struggle with that. Mm -hmm. A lot of people aren't sure God really loves them. Guess what? God not only loves you, he likes you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he likes you. He enjoys your presence with him. He enjoys that fellowship. You know, God doesn't need anything. He's God but he wanted a family. Right. So he, he sent his son to the earth who died for us so that we could all now be engrafted in and be a part of his family. So I think just to get the right image, a healthy image of our heavenly father, too often we've been loved with conditional love yeah. and not unconditional love. A lot of times how our earthly fathers have either loved us or not loved us, we've transferred that to our image of our heavenly father. And that is sometimes is a big mistake. Right, it's such a life transforming thing to know how our heavenly father looks, for, looks at us that we are his beloved. That's right. And so he puts the gift of his Holy Spirit inside of us to have God's love in us in order that we might love others. And whoo, Pastor Gary, I think anybody watching can, today can say there are people in their life that are hard to love. How do we follow Jesus' command to love others? Well, I, I think you have to put your own emotions aside. You can't, you can't be ruled by your emotions. We all have them but they can't have us. And then I think we just have to just make a choice. We have to be intentional. And as I said earlier, we have to draw on the love of God inside of us and say, Lord, I can't love this person in my own love, in my own self. I need you to give me a love for whoever, my boss, for that one that's hurt me, for that one that's abused me. I mean, he, 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 I'm not saying it's easy, but I am saying it's possible only because of the grace of God, the, 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 the ability for God to just implant and impart his love into our own spirits. And if we could just be filled with the Holy Spirit and be filled with the love of God, Read, read Ephesians 3, 14 to 21. What a great prayer Paul prayed. But he talks about the love of God in there. And, and I think it's a great prayer 
to pray to be filled up with God's love. What a great privilege it is to be a child of God. And for somebody watching today who hasn't accepted Jesus as their savior, can you talk to them and tell them how do they start that relationship? Well, I, I would just say to you that first of all, God loves you. And, 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 and it's not a religion. Most of us know about God in America. We, we, we grew up maybe in a denominational church or a church, but God desires a relationship. He desires intimacy. And the Bible is very simple. The Bible says we've all sinned. We've all fallen short. And if we confess those sins and invite Christ to come into our hearts, I love to tell people God goes where he's invited. <laughs> and if you invite him into your heart, guess what? He's going to come and he's going to give you a peace a peace that the world can't give you, but it's also a peace that the world can't take away. So if you would just say, dear Jesus, forgive me of my sins, come into my heart and be my savior and Lord, he'll do it. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. Pastor Gary, thank you so much for sharing your heart and for your leadership and taking the time to write this article. Thank, thank you. you. Well, I sure hope you've enjoyed your time together with us here on Cornerstone Connect. I know I love hearing what's coming up and what's going on with all of the different parts of Cornerstone Television, but I just want to thank Etta for writing in. She said, I just wanted to let you know I really enjoy all of the programs, Dashing Dish, Hope Today, and I really enjoy Arlene's cooking show. Etta, we thank you for writing in, and I just want you to know you included a prayer request on here for your daughter, Barb, and for other family members and for your own health. So we just lift you up to the Lord and we thank you so much for being a part of what God is doing here through Cornerstone Television. This is from Barb. She said, I love you all and the programs. God bless and keep up the good work on Air TV. And she asked us to lift up her son's health. So we just thank the Lord for touching Joel and for being you know, faithful to his word. So may the, the healing power of Jesus just flow through Joel's body. And this is from Nancy. I'm so thankful how your television broadcast has been there for me in this past year. You know, it's so important. And we just want to say thank you to every donor because if it wouldn't be for you, we wouldn't be able to be here for people like Nancy. And then this is... Um, Mary, she sent in her gift and she just wanted us to know that we are good ground here at Cornerstone. So I just thank you and she is appreciative for the people and how we are lifting up the name of Jesus. There's nothing else worth doing in life other than focusing in on our Lord and Savior. And that's what we here at Cornerstone desire to do is to present the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ so that all can know him.